Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing on this hump day. <laughs> everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will, everything is beautiful on yours. I uh, definitely was feeling today was a day for a reading for me to tap into the energy, the energy, see what's coming in, what's going out, and ultimately what's going on with beautiful Scorpios. I have been going through some really interesting uh, challenges here on my side of the planet. So I can only imagine what you all are experiencing. Um, I definitely want to bring a message of hope, of encouragement, of strength, uh, just reminding you to persevere through whatever it is that you may be going through or growing through in this moment um, or whatever you may be experiencing. Know that there is something beautiful on the other side of that challenge. So we're going to delve in. I want to welcome any of you beautiful souls that are tuning in for the first time. As I mentioned, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So during my readings, I play music and the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it all tends to correlate very beautifully with what I may be channeling uh, as well as what I may, what the cards may be showing and it all just blends together very nicely. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If this reading does not apply, let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Um, check your placements in your natal chart to see what other messages uh, will resonate for you. Uh, my readings are timeless. So whenever this video has found you, whenever it popped up in your feed, whenever you felt the urge or the uh, nudge to click play, that was divine time and in divine order that you've done so, beloved. So um, let's go ahead. Before we proceed with the read, I am going to do some house cleaning and give honors to our beautiful angels, Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, sending masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe yo. I want to send a big fat Ashe yo to my beautiful soul tribe that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. I appreciate you all. I thank you all for being consistent, for always being here, for showing love, for commenting, for encouraging others, for booking consultations, for just, you know, going and uh, patronizing my Etsy shop, just for being here. I, I appreciate you. I love you. And I rotate all that love. I rotate prosperity, abundance, optimum health to each and every one of you beautiful souls. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and proceed with the read as I stated. It is currently 304 on the Cliz Arc. So that reduces to seven. So some of you all, I heard life path numbers of number seven. Um, some of you all in the month of July, next month is going to be uh, exciting. I feel like there's going to be some momentum, some 
some movements, you know, I'm hearing horses, like a stampede of horses, and, and I'm just hearing horses, like just this thunderous noise of horses just powering ahead, so I'm getting the chariot as well, you know, like there's some sort of triumphant outcome or some sort of forward movement, um, asserting yourself in a confident way, asserting yourself, um, in a powerful way. And, uh, it's, it's assuring some sort of, uh, stability or some sort of security, uh, but beautiful energy. I also feel like you've learned some things and that's the reason why you're, uh, more assertive or you're taking action is because you've taken that time to assess something and you found balance. Um, you took the time to, uh, contemplate or to meditate, to get something straight. And now that you've done that, it's like, you feel, uh, you feel confident about the direction that you are going in because you took that pause to assess. So it's a beautiful energy. Um, like I said, of, of, of a triumphant outcome. Uh, we have radiant children and the name of the song is called life's a bitch. Um, but with that radiant children, that's what really resonated more than life's a bitch. I feel like, yes, life may have been a bitch. It may have been difficult, but you're coming out of that period, out of that time, uh, with radiant children. I feel like there's this glow now. There's this, you know, almost like, um, you know, you have, um, taken on the power. It's like, you got the glow. If you think of that movie, like the last dragon, it's like, he's always had that power, that ability, um, you know, those magical powers, but he had to believe it within himself instead of searching external to self. He had to believe it within himself. And that's how he was able to come into that knowledge that he was very powerful. So he had the glow. So it's like you have that, that glow, that radiance. It's as if you've, um, you've really turned a vulnerability in some sort of superpower. It's really like whatever that circumstance was that was really making life very, uh, difficult, um, where you felt like life was a bitch, like you felt like it was a constant, um, you know, constant issue you were trying to overcome or some sort of peaks and valleys that you were constantly finding yourself, uh, trekking. It's like now there's this period where you are coming into, um, you know, a, a more positive, uh, experience or you're coming into some sort of life path that's going to be more exciting. Uh, it's going to bring more fulfillment on many levels. So with that seven, as I said, that's like the chariot. The seven is also associated with the crown chakra. Um, so I do feel the sense of being wiser, uh, having that knowledge of self, knowing the ledge, wising the dome, doing the data. So this radiance uh, is definitely very attractive. Uh, so others could be looking to you as uh, someone wise. Uh, someone who's informed, someone who's a healer, a teacher, a shaman, a light worker. Uh, maybe others are just becoming inspired by um, this growth, you know, this growing pain or this growth spurt or this ascension that you are experiencing. It's like you've evolved and others are seeing it. It's like you've transformed and gone through this startling metamorphosis, this period, and uh, you may have healed you know, some of your childhood traumas as well with this radiant children. Maybe you are raising children that are gifted uh, because in this video, there is a young girl um, that has some sort of superpowers. Uh, so I do feel like maybe you are raising children that could be like indigo babies, star seeds, um, and you're guiding them, you know, as, as umis, as babas, as mothers, as fathers. Our jobs as mothers and fathers is to help our children and guide them um, to discovering their path, their journey, their life mission in the same ways that we've had to do so. Um, so your your duty in this lifetime may be to be a guide, a beacon of light uh, for children. Maybe you work with children. Uh, you may work with very special children. Uh, maybe they are deemed, um, you know, uh, like autistic in the spectrum or maybe you work with children who have certain mental um, mental disabilities. Maybe you're in that field or you've studied psychology in some degree. But I do feel like you're helping to guide children, helping to uh, counsel them in some way, um, helping them to even heal uh, from, you know, very difficult circumstances. Maybe you work in foster care. Uh, maybe you are someone 
who um, is dealing with like an adopted child. Maybe you are adopted. Maybe you are considering adoption. If it's not children per se, maybe there's a sense of um, maybe adopting a pet of some sort of dog or cat or, or something, you know, but I, I just get a strong sense of like you being a guy, you being a beacon of light. Um, so that's what I'm getting with the cards intuitively. We're going to see what the card, I mean, with the song and that number intuitively. We're going to see what the cards have to say. So we got the numerology deck, beloved. Let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. And we have this love partnership that is uh, number 26. And that 26 gives me like the eight, the eight of cups. It could be even, you know, the eight of pentacles. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, that's really um, a very, very disciplined and very determined, very ambitious, very focused, very uh, eyes on the prize type of energy. The Eight of Pentacles works very hard. Um, it is not easily distracted off, uh, you know, its path because whatever it is you're doing, it's you're doing it with the intention of having success or um expanding you know uh it's a really uh it's a really disciplined energy because of your um you know with, because of your focus you know this this focused intention um that's also about building partnerships um building connections so maybe you're attracting connections that will be more fulfilling because you'll have that ability to build like an alliance um, you know, with someone else, some sort of uh, powerful unions, powerful connections. This is also given like the Eight of Cups where it's like you've discovered that everyone doesn't deserve you or deserve your love um, because the Eight is like that Eight of Cups energy where you've put so much into a situation yet it's left you feeling emotionally bankrupt so much so that you make the decision to move away from it to step away to get away to leave something behind so with this you know energy of this eight i'm just getting like a positive movement forward because you know walking away from something that leaves you emotionally unfulfilled is a show of self-love and self-discipline because you know your worth you know your value you know what you deserve so this is really like learning your love language learning what works for you and what doesn't and making the decision to walk away from it because you know that it is not fulfilling it is not um it's not quenching your thirst it's not hitting the way that it should uh so you refocus rechannel that energy from extending that love to perhaps a person um, that you were not getting that equal exchange of reciprocity from and now channeling that energy into something perhaps creative. Uh, that's where you start really getting focused um, intentionally about what you want uh, because now maybe you've found something you're very passionate about. You're following your heart's truest desires. Uh, so this aid is also given like, you know, that star energy um, where you learn you're a co-creator with source, where you learn that you're an alchemist, where you learn that you could set your intentions, your focused intentions to manifest your desired outcomes. Um, this is about praying. This is about being someone who's a prayer warrior, someone who's very hopeful, who walks by faith and not by sight, who doesn't get easily distracted or discouraged when there's a challenge. Um, this is a very hopeful energy, a very resilient energy. The star is absolutely the very definition of turning pain into power, a superpower at that. The star is also very balanced. It's learned, you know, you've learned how to uh, ground yourself. You've learned how to heal, more importantly. Um, water is, you know, very healing. So the star is depicted as standing in what appears to be like a river. It's a body of water. And she has one foot in the water uh, and one foot on earth. So this is really about learning to find that, that harmony, that balance. Um, also learning to be grounded uh, as well. You know, so very healing energy that I'm getting, uh, knowing one's worth, knowing one's value, but also um, being seen as attractive, uh, being seen in the spotlight, being seen as a star, um, being seen as a potential wish fulfillment, um, 
But this also speaks to receiving blessings, things coming in very quickly that you may have prayed for because you have manifested it. So whatever you've sent out into the ethers by means of a petition or by means of a ritual or spell or you just invoking some sort of intention, it's like it's manifesting and it's materializing. And I feel like you're going to absolutely fall in love um, with whatever this is, whatever this, whether this is uh, in relation to uh, business or uh, entrepreneurship, um, whether it's in relation to a love ship or a connection that you are forging with someone, it's going to feel very much like a wish fulfillment, like a blessing, like your angels have answered a prayer for you. Because like I said, that eight gives like the star and the star is really an energy of receiving um, some sort of blessing, even uh, some swift movement, swift action. And remember, we opened up the reading with that number seven. So what we have on the split, so this card literally flew out, came out. Um, and so what we have on the split is we have 99 compassion along with 26 love partnerships. So I do feel like there was a lot of forgiving, um, accepting apologies you've never received, not judging other people, um, not judging yourself even from whatever you had to walk away from and focusing on healing. You're attracting someone who too has been healing um, from their past relationships, from their past traumas. This is someone that very well could be a twin flame or someone that you will have an equal exchange of give and take because this all reduces to 11 and 1111 is the number of the twin flame union, the cosmic companions, the yin and yang um, energy. And with this six, six, you know, that's a double number. Whenever I see double numbers, for those of you that may be new, it always gives me a sense of that's you and the person you're attracting mirroring one another. So there is this sense that there's been a lot of healing uh, that's been taking place. It's been the focal point um, because if you reduce that six, six, that's 12, the hanged man, so there's been a lot of internal work. There's been a lot of reflecting on the past, seeking awareness. There's been a lot of investigating and assessing, as I said. And through those assessments, you are now able to heal thyself because you learn more when you look back in awareness opposed to looking back with this feeling of nostalgia or this feeling of like there were mistakes or this feeling of judging. Um, you know, that's why compassion is here because only through compassion can you really um, show forgiveness? Can you really heal? Uh, because when you are not compassionate towards others, then that means there's more of the sense of judging um, and holding on to the past, holding on to the things that have caused pain. The hangman is really a position where you can see things from a different vantage point, from a different perspective, from perhaps someone else's perspective, stepping outside of your own feelings and emotions and looking at it from a different vantage point. And that's truly how you heal. And in that ability to see things from someone else's perspective, that means that you would have to, uh, you know, be free of any judgment. So that's why this compassion is here. Because not only did you get tested in that way, um, but whomever you're attracting to you, uh, this could be a past life love, a twin flame, because that six, six is, uh, the number and vibration of the lovers. Um, I'm also seeing the six of cups, uh, where this is someone that could be from a past life because that's typically what the lovers or, um, the two of cups or even that twin flame union that I was speaking of. Um, that's literally sometimes, oftentimes someone from your past, past life someone from another life um, that could be coming in. So that could be a sign that you are manifesting and attracting someone um, that is destined to be in your life. And this is someone that is mirroring you on many levels uh, through the lessons they've had to learn through heartache and loss, um, even through, you know, going through humbling experiences where forgiveness was also, you know, a test. Um, and also ultimately a lesson learned. So the 6612, that hangman, now someone is observing you as 
you know, like an empress, as an emperor, uh, someone who's reached that level of self-mastery, someone strong, powerful, beautiful. We have T.I., and the name of this is called You, uh, Be There, and this is featuring Tiana Taylor. So this person feels that you are um, someone who is, like I said, an empress or an emperor with that uh, use reference. I feel whoever is listening to this reading, that is you, uh, because that 12 breaks down to three. So that just shows uh, you growing through the process, you growing through the pains, going through that startling metamorphosis after suffering from, you know, heartache and loss heartbreak because that three is the three of swords that's why you're healing um there was definitely uh some very humbling experiences that you've learned from this uh and it's taught you to always trust your gumption your instinct your intuition there were possibly a lot of things you overlooked in those relationships um maybe you were being treated like an option maybe you were not appreciated or valued uh and so those situations um, caused a lot of pain because maybe there was, you know, some rejection, maybe there was some third party shenanigans, but you've healed from this more importantly, but you've also uh, taken the time to grow uh, from that experience. You've turned the pain into power. Um, you've learned that that experience was uh, destined. It was designed to teach you, to heal you. Every great healer has to heal themselves. So that's why this healing card is the first card that jumped out because I feel this was how many of you Scorpios um, have been going through, you know, growing through your own dark night of the soul journey is through healing a lot of your past traumas um, and also reassessing certain things, certain relationships, certain connections um, and, uh, you know, finally owning your power. Uh, that three, the Empress, that is the highest level of regalness, royalness, you know, uh, this is really being in that higher, you know, that highness energy, your highness energy. Um, someone who is self-aware, uh, nurturing, powerful, a master manifester, uh, a creative mind, creative force, uh, someone who is that leader, that that um, inspiration to others. You, you're you very wise, very uh, learned and experienced, very down to earth even. Uh, with this 99 Compassion and Love Partnership, uh, that very well shows, as I said, with that three and then that eight, uh, that 11, it's, it's just like you're now definitely, you know, making decisions that are best suited for you. Uh, you're attracting other like minds. You're attracting people that you will have an equal exchange of give and take because that eight and that three reduces to 11. So, you know, that 11 reduces to two. So you are coming into those connections that you will feel there's an equal exchange in give and take. And I do feel this is a part of your just do. Uh, whatever seed you've sowed in good faith, it's like now they are harvesting, they're blossoming. Um, abundance is blossoming, uh, blessings are coming in. That's why we saw that eight. So that means there's swift movement, action, even unexpected, um, but very beautiful blessings nonetheless. So let's tap it. So, who or what is our beautiful Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So, this card here, you see how this one is coming kind of coming out. I'm going to take that one because that one wants to be shown. So, we have karmic completions. So this is double, triple confirmation yet again. Someone is ending some sort of karmic cycle. Um, this is literally like done, done, thin. Whatever you've been experiencing, that's why I was picking up that energy of like, if you've been going through something, it's like, just keep on going because you're at the very end of that cycle. These are new, new energy that's flowing in. I also get a strong sense with this four, um, because this six takes three and this 10, this reduces to four. So you may be dealing with someone that is wrapping up a cycle. If this is a feminine watching this video, you may have a divine masculine that is clearing up, closing up a cycle, wrapping up a cycle. Um, and this is going to bring you into union with your twin flame, your cosmic companion, because that four is also the vibration of 1111. So this divine masculine 
is, you know, finally completing a cycle, going through, you know, that dark night of the soul journey, learning necessary lessons, healing from betrayals, deception, uh, healing from relationships that have met its demise, and then coming into this period of finally realizing and discovering your independence is the foundation for your stability, security, and happiness. Perhaps this was a codependent situation, but it is ending nonetheless. Uh, a karmic cycle um, can be very painful. So that's literally why this healing card is right next to the karmic completion, because you do have to heal from whatever those growing pains were, whatever those lessons were you were learning from that karmic cycle. Um, there will be that moment where you have to decompress, rejuvenate, recuperate, heal thyself. Uh, so that's what someone is doing. Uh, this may be just a divine masculine that's going through this period, uh, mirroring the energy of a divine me uh, feminine that they are now um, attracting, you know, or that a divine feminine could be attracting to them. It's either or, this could be a divine feminine going through this or a divine masculine that's, you know, going through this or growing through this. But either way, this is showing the process. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we're about to pull how they feel about you. And it says two patients. So this is really about, you know, good things taking time to develop, to create, you know, it takes time for beautiful things to emerge, especially when you go through dark periods, when you have those uh, periods in your life where um, it was very difficult. Like we, the song said, like you felt like life was a bitch, um, but you do grow from that experience. So it's like patience is a form of action. Um, it isn't about just sitting around waiting and twiddling your thumbs. It's about what you do whilst you wait. So being, you know, proactive, uh, making decisions, being balanced, um, being busy, staying busy, juggling multiple tasks, uh, just, just really taking care of yourself, taking care of your family. It's like whoever this is, this person just sees you as balanced. They see you as someone very grounded. Um, because this too is also like the high priestess vibration is that I was speaking to. So maybe this is someone that also knows you're highly intuitive, very sensitive when it comes to energy, like you could pick up on energy um, with this four and this two that reduces to six. So they could definitely be sending like psychic messages, maybe intuitive messages, maybe telepathic because the six is associated with the first die. So this person does see you as someone very intuitive because the two, as I said, is the high priest or the high priestess. So they do know that you're in tune, tapped into the all or tapped into that God frequency. Um, you're the keeper of ancient wisdom. You have divine knowledge. Um, they see you as someone grounded. They see you as someone balanced. But they could also see you as someone that they could build with, grow with, uh, plant seeds, roots, nucleus with. Uh, someone that definitely feels is like um, a like mind. This is someone that feels they have that equal give and take because the two is given like the two of cups as well. So with all the six, remember, we had that six I was seeing earlier with the lovers, um, with the six, six. So this is that same person, same vibration. Uh, you both are mirroring one another. So this could be someone that does uh, return from a past life uh, or someone that you know from the past, someone that you definitely will feel uh, chemistry wise, like it's on a high, um, the, the intensity or the attraction, um, even the, you know, the passion perhaps that you will feel with this person, it, it will be very intense. Um, the two is also associated with the sacral. So I do feel like this person sees that you move to the beat of your own drum. Like you do things the way you see fit. you you don't fit into anyone else's boxes. Um, it's like you are a trendsetter or you are someone who revolutionizes ideas. Um, you're different. You're rare. You're quirky. You're nerdy. And it's just, it just works for you. Um, but it's just like they, they just they feel this sense of um, strong attraction, strong desire, but also a likeness. Uh, there's a likeness that they feel. Um, so that's beautiful. And so we have um, Toby Nawigui. And it says ode to fat. So for Toby, that's his uh, his wife. Uh, fat is his wife. So this person can see themselves like marrying you. Um, with ode to fat, this is someone that will make some sort of 
um, oath with you, like, you know, I'm seeing like a ceremony, a wedding ceremony, or some sort of partnership ceremony where you two will come into a spiritual partnership together, uh, you know, where you will come into some sort of union because this person is making an oath. Um, an oath is like, you know, you're, it's a testament. It's when you are um, committing to someone on a deeper level, a spiritual level. So whoever this is, Spirit is saying um, that they are planning, preparing, uh, however they are approaching this situation, even if this is business, uh, someone who's coming in with a business idea or wanting to collaborate with a business, um, with some sort of business partnership, it's like they are very committed. Uh, this is a committed energy here. Uh, and Spirit is saying, you know, with patience, um, good things take time to create so i feel like don't rush the process like literally sit down build that foundation so that relationship sustains and stands the test of time opposed to just rushing in to things so patience that's why you know patience is a form of action patience is a virtue because when you are patiently planning um then you're preparing for uh, um a very successful uh out outcome when you just rush it's just like you're not even taking the time to strategize so this is beautiful so that too so that's how that's what's on the bottom of the deck so let's tap it so how does this person or how does this that our beautiful scorpios feel how do they feel about our beloved scorpios how does this person or what scorpios are attracting to them feel about our beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace and spirit couple of cards fell on the floor and we have 22 intuition. Didn't I say this person feels that you're very psychic or in tune, tapped in, you know, connected to, you know, that God frequency, tapped into Christ consciousness. Because I was getting that six. That six is the first sign. So this is someone that may try to communicate or does communicate with you intuitively, telepathically. Maybe this is someone that is like um, visiting you in your dreams, maybe astral traveling. So we have 44 environment flew out. So didn't I say this is someone that you will be familiar with or there will be the sense of familiarity, similarity. This is someone that definitely um, has a lot of love, you know, definitely can see growth, can see building. This is given also that same energy I was getting earlier with the eight. Remember, we saw 26 love partnerships. And so this is that the very epi uh, you know epitome of that, because with environment, this could be someone that you may have met at your place of employment, someone that you may have bumped into. In just your day-to-day -day life because this is someone that is familiar with you in your environment around you in your surroundings maybe this is someone that you may cross paths with at your local grocery store supermarket gym maybe uh maybe on a trail that you walk maybe this is someone that you live in the same community this could be someone that just watches you from a distance from afar someone you're familiar with or like I said, you will feel this sense of familiarity. This is someone that wants to build because I get the eight of pentacles with this. I also get the eight of cups as well. That all this green and the fact that this is a double number is again confirming the fact that this person is matching your frequency, your vibration. This is a like mind. This is someone who has been through similar karmic lessons, similar, uh, you know, a similar karmic path. And with this double four, four deals with the heart chakra. Four is also the number of the divine masculine. So this is about two people who's, you know, had to heal, as I said, recuperate from what? Heartache, loss, pain, having the, that sword, you know, just literally um, just stabbing that heart. You have to heal from that. And that's literally what I was saying about this healing and the karma completion. So this person is mirroring your energy in that regard with this four and this four you got four 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 here so your angels are definitely um conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into a love partnership because this is literally four 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 sixty six breaks down to twelve twelve breaks down to three that ten breaks down to one so that's four so three and one is four and then you got four 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 so four 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 so this is absolutely like i'm here an archangel Mikael. You know, I'm hearing Archangel Raphael. That's who's helped you all heal. You know, that's also who has um, helped you to discover that you too are a healer. 
You know, every great healer has to first heal themselves. So for some of you, that's why we have been seeing spiritual career. We've been seeing spiritual partnerships in a lot of Scorpio readings, because not only are you, you know, aligning with your purpose and your destiny, but you're aligning with people that are meant to be in your life that are also aligned with the sim a similar destiny. So this 444 is saying that you are protected. There is absolute angels protecting you. Trust the process. If you're seeing 444, know that you are blissed. Four is a very powerful number. It's a spiritual number. It's a, a, a you know, it literally, there are four directions. When you think of the number four, there's four different directions. You know, there are four seasons. You know, there's four celestial energies. There's just, it's a lot of, of, of powerful energy that comes with that number four. I was actually watching videos today of native um, of native history, you know, and so that number four is a sacred number when it comes to natives of this country. And so it's very interesting that 444 showed up. Some of you could be seeing that number 444. 444 reduces to 12, which reduces to three. So there is a sense that whoever you're attracting to you absolutely sees you, if you're a divine feminine, even if you're a masculine, as, you know, as I said, very regal, very royal, because that's the empress. If you're masculine, that would be the epitome of an emperor. So a boss, a leader, uh, someone very determined, someone very ambitious, someone very powerful, someone very creative. You know, this is someone who's very um, action oriented. Remember, I was seeing the seven when we opened up the reading. It was uh, 304. So that was the number seven, which is the chariot. So that fire energy of the empress or the emperor, um, they're very goal oriented. They're also known as the entrepreneurs, because when you think of an emperor and an empress, they rule empires. So you have to know how to lead. You have to know how to identify leaders and others. And that is that that energy. You're the head of household. You're the head of uh, your business. You know, you, you turn thoughts into reality very action oriented very fearless you know it's a leader it's, it's it's very proud it's very powerful so that's beautiful energy the other cards that flew out for how this person feels about you is we have seven personal growth and remember that's what i was picking up with that number seven we saw in the beginning of the reading that you've evolved you know when you get to that seven, the crown chakra, that means that you have had to unblock all the other six chakras to get to the crown so you start from the base, the basement, take the elevator all the way up to each chakra point. And so we see clearly that you have done a lot of healing. You have been doing a lot of unblocking, unbinding, unattaching and healing overall. And now you're more susceptible to trusting your own intuition, trusting what you feel, trusting your gumption because you've unblocked a lot of those things that may have had you feeling stuck at feeling um you know discontent or feeling confused so it's like you've purged a lot of things you there's been a death of that old concept of who you thought you were and you've emerged someone completely different this 444 reduces to 12 that's three that three and the seven here is 10 so that is the karmic completion that we see that 10 that all these cards reduce to shows that there has been an ending Every ending denotes a new beginning, but that ending definitely caused a death, a death of old concepts, a death of old behaviors, habits, belief systems, ideology that forced you to purge people, cut them out of your life. People that you realized weren't adding value, weren't reciprocating, weren't, you know, doing their due diligence to nurture and cultivate the connection. You started to purge those people, places and things. Those places that you resided in that didn't resonate with your spirit, your energy, you may have upped and relocated and moved. Positive movements forward. That's what that energy is. When you know your worth, know your value, you are not afraid to take action, to move to a more uh, safe space. You create a safe haven. You create a protective bubble. So now we have four, perseverance. So again, you see 444 four, four sitting here. You got 4444. Four, four, four. Four, 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 four on the on the table right now. And so that shows that there are, you know, very powerful angels that that are around you. I also feel this 
is very indicative of the self-love. The way you've had to learn to love that self was through growing, you know, through those circumstances, those failed situations. It's like it has taught you to love that self. Four is associated with the heart chakra. So you've learned to become more emotionally intelligent, more emotionally vested in yourself. Love is an inside job. So you started to show more love to yourself. Self-love, self-worth, self-value is all, uh, you know, self-discipline. It's all self-love, you know, that's self-discipline. When you put you first, that's what that two is about, you know, with the that sacral chakra I was picking up. It's like moving to the beat of your drum, realizing your worth and value. This solid green that we see here just shows healing. It just shows how much you focused on healing, how much you focused on healing from that which caused enormous pain that could have been lost that could have been um literal death like your loved ones transitioning into the spirit realm losing you know loved ones losing relationships losing friendships just parts of you shedding you know falling apart falling away and having to stand in your power stand in that truth this is beautiful. So someone definitely see, sees you. Look at this. We got new beginnings. I picked up the deck and this was sitting there. So we're about to pull the card for uh, what's hidden. So what's hidden is this new beginning. And remember, I was picking up like in the beginning, the seven, like where you are going to have some sort of triumphant outcome because I was hearing like horses stampeding and rushing ahead. And that is a very, uh, a very assertive, confident energy. So, you know, moving forward, moving towards some sort of new path and journey. And we have um, Kendrick Lamar, and the name of this is called Rich Spirit. So you can be dealing with someone named Kendrick or Lamar, first, middle, or last. You could be from California. With Rich Spirit, I do feel like you do have, like, um, you've come into spiritual alignment. You've become more spiritually wiser. You know, you may have devoted a lot of time connecting with your angels, your guides, you know, maybe those deities, uh, your ancestors. And it has built uh, this very, you know, protective shield around you. So you have a very rich spirit, a very bright and radiant soul or aura or energy. Like others feel drawn to you, attracted to you. You may find like when you go out, people may flock to you. Or you may bring traffic wherever you go because you are like you 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 are radiant you you are powerful uh field force field or shield for like frequency of energy and so wherever you go it's like people are drawn to you you bring traffic or you bring this presence you know you you draw the attention of others people may be just drawn to spark in a conversation you know it's like because they see the light in you remember we saw radiant children and so that that is sending a message of like, you know, that you have uh, some sort of power, like you're you're anointed, gifted, um, and other like minds can see you, and you can see other like minds, which is why you may start finding that you are uh, attracting more like-minded individuals. Like you're connecting and forming like Voltron with your soul tribe, with your soul family, and with this rich spirit. I just feel like that that just speaks to you having almost like an earth angel type of presence that's very beautiful but with this 22 intuition what's hidden um always go with your gumption always go with that first instinct trust that that could save your life so that intuition something you could be sensing someone's coming in because that 22 reduces to four that's also a, a double number so you know you're attracting someone that could be picking up on your energy and you're picking up on theirs. I also feel like spirit is telling you to use discernment because there's someone hidden or something hidden that could be coming in and maybe that's something you are picking up on. So if you're having some dream activity going on right now, maybe it will behoove you to start 
keeping a dream journal. When you wake up, have like a little notebook there that you can just write down whatever you mem you memorize in that instance because your dream will slowly fade the longer you're up. So spirit may be saying like your intuition, pay attention to your intuition. Um, if you're seeing 22 or 222 or 666, 444, 777, 10, 10 or 333, um, if you're seeing any of those numbers, that is a way maybe your angels, ancestors, guides, deities are communicating with you. So there's a divine download or some sort of divine transmission that they could be sending to you um, and you're missing the mark. So, you know, pay attention. 344 on the clock. So that's 11. That could be an indication. That's also breaks down to two. So with that two, there, there's perhaps maybe you're you're pondering on a decision, on a ch on on choosing a certain course of action, on choosing a, a a direction. And so spirit is saying, use your intuition. What feels right, what sits right in your spirit. Do what's best for you. Don't do what's best for anyone else. This isn't about considering anyone else. This is about prioritizing you because that too is the, you know, that is the sacral. And so with the intuition card showing up and 344 being on the clock, like I said, that's 11. So this could be in relation to perhaps um, a twin flame situation. Maybe you are confused as to whether someone is a twin flame and spirit is telling you trust your intuition because that 11 is one half of 11 11 so that could be a part of it but this is also i feel just about a decision it's about a choice um because remember the two in this deck was patience so spirit is telling you don't jump the gun don't rush take the time meditate get it straight uh we have ramp daylight playing so with daylight i feel like spirit is saying take the time um you know to choose wisely because you will get some sort of epiphany. There will be some clarity. You will see something clearly because daylight is a luminous. Daylight provides, it's like a new start, a fresh start. You know, every day the sun rises, that's a new day. So this is like a new opportunity. We have 19 pride on the bottom of the deck and that will be there for when we um, pull the outcome card. But the two cards that flew out for what's hidden is we have 32 music. So spirit is telling me to listen to this song that's playing. And again, that is Ramp, and the name of this song is called Daylight. And so this song is literally, um, this is the original to uh, that Benita Applebaum song by A Tribe Called Quest. So if you think of that, that music, that's, this is the original, Ramp, Daylight. So someone could be from New York, Long Island, um, but I'm getting a sense of like maybe someone is a hip hop artist, maybe someone is a musician, someone may produce music, someone may be a writer, uh, a songstress, a hip hop artist. Um, maybe this is saying some of you all could be clairvoyant, um, but I also feel like this is spirit saying um, that someone is going to have some sort of epiphany. They're going to learn something, perhaps from hearing a particular song, uh, because the daylight reference is just giving me a sense of like illumination. The 32 is associated with the Hierophant, but that's the number five. So that is, you know, speaking to, you know, um, tutelage, scholarly energy. Um, that's about investigating, researching, learning, um, building your wealth of knowledge, mastering your craft, sharpening a sword. This is about honing some particular skill or even discovering that someone has a, a particular gift uh, with this daylight, I just get like somebody may be coming into some sort of deeper awareness that they are gifted musically. Maybe they pick up a, a, a piano. I mean, you know, pick up a guitar and they could just play by ear. Maybe someone realizes they have some sort of gifts. Maybe this is your child that was picking up that maybe just gifted uh, with music. What's hidden? I do feel like there's also some sense of someone being clairaudient and receiving some major download that gives them this aha moment maybe someone realizes something in an instance um by hearing a particular lyric reading a particular lyric and it just resonates very much so five is also associated with the throat chakra um as i said so maybe someone is just naturally uh discovering that that is their gift uh the throat chakra is not just about communicating and expressing something maybe there will be a message uh, maybe someone will receive a download like to reach out and communicate with someone 
after listening to a song or hearing a song, or this could just be speaking to someone expressing themselves um, musically, expressing themselves artistically or creatively, um, finding one's voice. So that's powerful. So this is what's hidden, um, which is really, like I said, an energy of learning, building your wealth of knowledge, um, building your skill set, even honing uh, your, your, your skills, discovering your purpose, aligning with your purpose, um, you know, maybe communicating with someone uh, is, is also in the cards. We have 48 financial discipline. This also flew out for what's hidden. So this shows, you know, because that reduces to 12 also. So that could be like like strategizing, masterminding, some sort of plan to bring in multiple streams of income, to grow one's wealth, to supplement perhaps um, their income. But this is like maybe someone is thinking about uh, putting their music out there, streaming their music on all of these platforms like I, uh, iTunes, Reverb, uh, you know, um, whatever those different music uh, applications are. Someone could be looking to uh, start, you know, having their music out there. Uh, this also could be speaking to you, like whatever you're working on, you're mastering it, and it's going to produce a lot of um, abundance. Like that could be something that's hidden, like a hidden, a hidden treasure. Uh, that could be like a windfall of money or some door to value. Uh, this also shows, I feel like, you know, maybe someone that you will build or forge some sort of uh, very strong partnership alliance with. Um, this is like really going to be uh, two people that work very well together because this these both reduced to eight. And remember, in the beginning of the reading, I saw the love partnership card, which reduced to eight. And then we have the four four environment card for how this person feels about your energy is eight so what's hidden is this person could literally be mastering um masterminding a plan developing a plan to come in to work together to build that partnership that alliance and this is the two of you really um having some sort of success because that's that same eight uh vibration where i was seeing um someone wanting to put in the effort the work uh, wanting to be supportive, wanting uh, to team up together. Uh, this is someone in your environment, apparently. Uh, and this is someone that's absolutely been mir mirroring your energy throughout the whole reading. Um, I feel what may have uh, delayed the situation is perhaps ego, pride, um, not being open, not being receptive, uh, even because we have 19 pride here on the bottom of the deck. So that could be about ego, but I feel with this being at 19, which is 10, um, that could be that same person that you're attracting to you that is going through this karmic completion that's now having also um, this death of an ego. Um, that could even represent you finally, you know, letting go of those superficialities, letting go of these false senses of success or letting go of societal um, standards and just living free because you've broken, you know, broken free from that web of lies, broken free from, you know, the rapture. Uh, so this pride, you know, it's like a death, you know, and this will eventually cause someone to see things uh, clearly to break free from an illusion allows you to now see things clearer. So what we have right here is love so fine. And this is by the Blackbirds. So that love so fine is, I feel, first and foremost, love of self. Um, you have to love thyself. You have to love you before you can extend love to anyone else. Um, and pride will also um, get into, you know, in the way. It will interfere and interrupt a natural flow of love if you're not being your authentic self or if you have these uh, superficial ideologies, you know, or, you know, even just some sort of negative mindset um so with that that love so fine it's like you know now there's this this regenerative energy of loving oneself in a healthy way um the blackbirds i just get a sense of like freedom you know being free from as i said those faulty belief systems uh birds are animal totems which teeter between the heavens and earth uh they also 
provide messages they bring messages from the angels so i do get a sense of like you know receiving uh you know divine downloads interventions messages from your angels and guides that perhaps you have a calling on your life and this is a very humbling experience which provides that new beginning that we saw when the cards kind of got jumbled up uh we have oshun playing right now and this is called Gyanemi. uh and oshun is a beautiful orisha uh, which speaks to beauty, fertility, um, just the regalness that I was picking up on. Uh, very attractive feminine energy. So some of you all could be really, um, really tapping into your femininity. Uh, maybe you've been being mindful to like brush your skin, um, to take more spiritual baths, to to really take the time to meditate, to ground your energy. Uh, perhaps you're doing more things to, um, like, you know, maybe you're getting frequent massages. Uh, maybe you're getting pampered in a way uh, to treat yourselves. It's like that divine feminine energy. Uh, maybe someone will come in and put their pride to the side um, and, you know, be uh, attentive, uh, court you in a way that lets you know uh, that you're beautiful because that 10 does reduce to one and one is a very felicious number um one is also about you know setting intention manifesting so someone could be really trying to uh manifest it's 355 on the clock so that could be uh, a divine masculine that is uh perhaps attracted to a divine feminine because that ocean as i said very attractive energy feminine energy so there could be a divine masculine that could be putting their pride to the side to take action because their attraction has grown their interest has grown so what is the outcome for my beautiful scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit for my beautiful scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit so we have forgiveness 96 so whoever this person is remember i was getting that six the lovers and we have parenting here 63 on the bottom of the deck so for some of you all, I do feel with the parenting, because uh, remember early I was picking up the fact that some of you may be uh, mothers, fathers, umis, babas, um, and you may be guides, you may be vessels um, for your own children. You may work with very special children. Uh, you may have some sort of um, experience counseling, adopting, um, child care. Uh, but there's this energy of like perhaps even healing uh, past child issues or, or, or past uh childhood traumas um or helping children who have uh certain familial traumas fil familial issues uh maybe you're helping them by means of social work um so you know maybe this is even just you know dealing with the mother or father to your child or your own mother and father so you may have had to heal from uh daddy issues mommy issues abandonment issues uh familial traumas ultimately which is now helped you to heal and grow and become a healer for others you know by your testimony um your testimony is you know and ultimately was your test and now you can impart whatever knowledge whatever wise dome whatever lessons you've learned from you can impart that wisdom to others to help them in their process but with this 96 forgiveness this is the outcome i do feel like as i said like you know, when you forgive others um, with that com with that energy of compassion, because remember we had compassion there. That's what forgiveness encompasses. You know, I mean, that's what compassion encompasses is that forgiveness. Uh, it is that um, ability to look beyond what another person has done to you um, and looking at that person as someone who is wounded, who's hurt themselves, and that is why they inflict, inflicted that pain upon you because you two were hurt and wounded and so that's why that impact felt as great as it did but as you go through this process of healing you realize you know that uh whatever that circumstance was that triggered uh you initially that wasn't at all due to that other person they just were the mirror <laughs> To reflect the pain that you already was feeling within so that is really that person that spirit will bring into your life karmically to teach you those lessons so that's why the forgiveness is always for you because the forgiveness is about you you cutting yourself free
from that which could anchor you and keep you bound or keep you stuck. So that karmic situation has to be severed. It has to be let go. The cords have to be cut uh, completely, indefinitely, in order to have um, a fresh start. So forgiveness frees you. And this forgiveness allows you to move in a completely different direction and also allows you to move differently with a more forgiving heart, with a more open mind um, and more compassionately where you're not judging other people's journey or where other people may be in their journey. It's about you realizing like um, and trusting, um, you know, the process. And, and not feeling the need to, to judge others uh, to make yourself feel better. It's about learning and discovering. We're all learning at the same time. And we're all in different, we're in different stages, you know, of our learning process. And that's why it will behoove you not to judge others, you know, and to be more forgiving, to be more open-minded and more, um, you know, more loving. So this is beautiful. I love that forgiveness is the outcome because it just shows the sense of releasing, letting go and moving on, moving forward, um, receiving, you know, the, the blessings from the divine, uh, but having a positive outcome. So we have, um, so this is Mace Cameron and Jada Kiss and the name of this song. I don't know what the name of the song is. It says G L H. So Mace and Cameron are from Harlem. And Jadakiss is from Yonkers. So maybe y'all from New York. Maybe, you know, with this energy, because it says G-L-H, maybe someone's first, middle, or last name is G. I heard glow, you know, um, and remember that word radiant was showing up earlier. Uh, in the former reading, glow of love played on um, played during that reading. So maybe that's just kind of like, you know, um, a repeated message, um, something being reiterated in a different way. With that, with that glow that I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I did mention earlier, um, you know, that last Dragon movie. So some of you all could have just recently watched that, but you know, I'm hearing that song. Cause you got that glow, you got that. I'm hearing that soundtrack from that movie. So some, some of you all are really radiant right now, very attractive, very like I'm hearing um, magnetic. Like your your people are drawn to you right now. You may find that. So so far you have four 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 six 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 in this reading. Um, all of these cards break down to four, four four. That's three seven. That's ten. That's one. One and four. That's five. Five and five. That's ten. That's one. One and three. That's uh, four. Um, so one and three. That's four. Four and six. That's 10. So you have karmic completions, endings. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So that new beginning card that fell out, it wasn't accidental. It wasn't coincidental. It wasn't by happenstance. Spirit was showing you, um, you know, showing you that you had a new beginning. You're on the precipice of some amazing, fresh new start. That's probably why I was hearing like the stampede of the horses, the forward movements, you know, just feeling like you were taking on your power, taking, um, you know, taking your stance, um, so we have right now a uh, soul for real, and this is called every little thing I do. So spirit has been watching every little thing you do. And I feel like that's why you have this new beginning because you've successfully and um, you've successfully completed this cycle. And I just feel like you should be very proud, um, very proud of uh, what you've been able to achieve, what you've been able to even let go. Um, whether these were faulty belief systems, habits, behaviors, uh, even some of the people, you know, maybe some of you are discovering, like, maybe some of the people you X'd out, um, maybe during this time because you're so confident in who you are, you know that some of those people you may be able to allow back into your life through assessing those connections. Um, you know, you may start to reconsider, uh, you know, allowing certain people back in. Because with every little thing I do and soul for real, like I feel like now you're you're just more so um, invested uh, and interested in real connections, authentic, genuine um, connections. So there goes the eight of wands. 
We got the Eight of Wands. So something is absolutely like rushing in towards you, coming in for you. This could be in the form of good news. This could be travel. This could be someone visiting you. Uh, but this is coming in quickly. You know, these Eight Wands. This could be a message that you're unexpecting. Uh, that you are not expecting. We got that eight and three again, that 11. So you have this uh, three of wands. So that's more so of like someone strategizing, planning very meticulously their course of action. And you can see that they have discovered just what they are going to do because this person in the three of wands card, you see how those two wands are behind them and they're only holding strong to this one staff. And that one staff is them finally taking action so they will take action because they have assessed they've analyzed this could even speak to the blessings you know perhaps the uh you know manifestations of whatever you've been calling in coming in because that three of wands you can see how you know he's kind of waiting sitting by the dock of the bay you know waiting for the blessings to come and you can see these horses, uh, these horses, these boats, you know, these ships are, you know, about to dock. So it's, it's really about like someone anticipating these blissings that are pouring in. Uh, there goes the lovers that I mentioned several times. So there could be partnerships, love connections, even work dynamics, uh, business partnerships, business alliance, forming some sacred alliance with someone. I was getting this, the lovers from the 66 healing along with the forgiveness card uh, we did see you know a combination of cards earlier that was giving me the energy of the lovers and the lovers is overseen by this beautiful angel and then there's also this radiant sunlight you know this sun with these rays so this speaks to perhaps a past life love that is destined to be in your life um finally aligning coming in Especially with this Eight of Wands. So, someone coming in unexpected. Um, someone coming in as a blessing in disguise. Uh, needing to make a choice. Me need, needing to make a decision. Remember I was speaking to choices. Choosing wisely. Being in two minds and needing to find that clarity. So with the soul for real, with every little thing, I feel your angels you know, have definitely um, been watching. And this is coming in divine timing. Whoever this is, they're destined to be in your life. With this wheel, the Dharma wheel, you know, you have karma, Dharma. So this wheel is bringing whatever has been blocked, delayed um, by, you know, those karmic situations that you were in, those karmic relationships, those karmic people. Uh, spirit delayed your blessings, delayed wish fulfillments so that you can close that cycle out. Because this time around, whatever's coming for you is what you've earned. It's what you deserve. So this Wheel of Fortune, there's a turning point. There's something turning around in your favor. And you can see what appears to be like this lion and he's holding the sword upright. And then you see these little angels and they're all holding books. So this shows that you've learned valuable lessons. You've reached that level of self-mastery, as I said. Um, and you've grown personally. And so now there's blessings. You've changed. You've transformed. You've come out of that illusion and you now have you know, the clarity. You've gained a deeper, more uh, profound understanding of life, of yourself. And that can just be you uh, taking flight, you know, taking action, um, freeing your dome, being more intentional, following your heart's true passions and desires. We have the nine of swords here. So there could be a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, concern. Uh, there could be even someone up in their head uh, about you, maybe even about how to take action. Uh, whoever this is, this is someone that is always up in their head, ruminating and pining, very anxious energy. Um, maybe they're waking up during, you know, those witching hours. I feel like they do get the clarity or they gain some sort of, um, you know, they get some sort of epiphany or they have that moment of, of, um, clarity that they were seeking, you know, so with this king of swords, that's really a wise energy, very stoic very honest very you know this could be someone who could be seen as like very blunt energy you know they could come off as a know-it-all uh but this is just someone very very real you know um we got the ace of cups here so that ace of cups shows that there could be someone communicating and expressing feelings of love 
emotions of love. Uh, perhaps this is someone just, you know, really taking on this power of, uh, you know, a very logical person. Because you can see the butterflies on the back of the throne of this king. So that, you know, butterflies are uh, symbolic of transformation, regeneration. They go through what appears to be like a startling metamorphosis. Their, grow their journey of growth is very beautiful. And I feel this is just, you know, indicating the journey that you've had to um, go through, grow through, grow grow through um, to reach this level of wise dome. Um, you're now more prone to expressing your truth, not backing down. That sword up is like you speak your truth now, you express yourself, and you're more willing to cut off things that don't serve you. You look at everything from a bird's eye view, very logical. But with this combination of the ace of cups, it shows that you're not only logically intelligent, like cerebrally, or, you know, um, you know, wise, but it also shows you're emotionally intelligent because you've taken the time to heal. Um, this Ace of Cups is really about healing thyself, learning to nurture thyself, love thyself, and then you will learn to become more emotionally intelligent in your relationships, in your friendships, in your connections, period. And so this energy together combined um, also can indicate that because you've taken the time to heal yourself and love yourself, um, you're very attractive in, and people are drawn to you and thus they will offer you love. They will offer a uh, commitment. Um, they will express feelings, you know, so this is very beautiful. And we have high five and this is called, I like the way, um, the kissing game. So someone really likes the way, you know, that you may, you know, show up in the world. You know, they like the way you do you, they like the way you take care of you, the way you love you. Um, so with high five, that's another five. So maybe this is something someone will express because uh, the five is the throat chakra. So someone may express those things. So look what we have, the queen of cups. So this is your energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer even. Um, but this is definitely water energy. Healing. You see how she's still a queen? Even if you're masculine, you're still seen as a king. So that shows the level of self-mastery. That shows the intention um, to grow. You know, to grow, to heal thyself uh, so that you can learn to love thyself. Her chalice is closed and she's looking to the past so as to learn. Remember what I said about, you know, looking back in awareness and learning from your experience. And that's literally how she's been able to maintain the status of a queen, you know, this, this regal uh, energy. Um, these angels that are surrounding you, because remember, I was picking up on the fact that you had angels and there are angels around, uh, you know, her throne. So that shows that you are, in fact, protected because remember, remember, we had four, four, four and then four show up. So four, four, four did show up and it shows that they were the ones that really guided you um, to healing thyself, to taking those deep dives, to even trusting um, more so your intuition, your discernment. Whoever you're attracting to you or what you're attracting to you does watch. Uh, they watch in admiration. They watch They watch uh, mesmeration, mesmerized. <laughs> you know, it's like they watch ready and prepared to communicate and express because that sword is up. There are 10 birds circle around, circling around the crown chakra. And this is, again, the same 10 that this person, whomever or whatever you're attracting to you, they have reached that number 10, which is, you know, now, you know, the completion of a cycle. So whoever this is, it's like they have had to have also some sort of death of an old concept. Um, maybe they had to be checked, corrected. They've learned some things. Maybe there was some, some um, misinformation. Uh, but they've done their research, and I feel like that's why the karmic completion is here is because maybe they've done some research and investigated and discovered maybe what they thought about you or how they felt about a situation. Uh, it was not accurate. And so now maybe there's an apology. Now maybe there's uh, that clarity that someone obtains, and they're ready to have that conversation. Because remember, we had high five playing like the way, you know, and that five is giving me the throat chakra and now we got the page of swords which speaks to a message someone who's kind of like an eye spy who watches 
um, behind the scenes, behind the, you know, behind the scenes or secretly, like, you know, someone just watching and, and ready though, ready and prepared to communicate, ready and prepared to express something. We got justice right beneath it. So remember, I was picking up that justice card as well. Um, getting your just due. Someone also may have received karma, as hence karmic completion. So let's tap in. So why is this karmic completion here for my beloved Scorpio? And who or what they're attracting to them? And we got the nine of cups. So that's powerful. So this nine of cups, remember I was picking up the eight of cups, walking away from whatever was making you feel emotionally um, bankrupt uh, to show self-love, self-worth. Um, now there's this feeling of, you know, feeling very satisfied. Uh, the body language says it all. It's like you're not open to um, love. You're not open to anything. This is all about taking care of the self, um, fulfilling your own needs, uh, discovering your love language, uh, learning to prioritize you, put you first. Um, and this is really like that, you know, me, myself and I energy, that de la soul. So that karma completion has taught you um, to really love yourself first, to not, you know, overcompensate. And this brings a sense of fulfillment. I feel whoever you're attracting also uh, could potentially be someone that is uh, now searching for uh, more emotional um, connection, connectivity. Uh, what did I say about the six of cups and the six, the lovers? So this is the six of cups. How this person feels about you is they want to return. Um, if you look closely, if you look right here, it's like there's a fork in the road. And here is like, this shows what this person may have done in the past. Went backwards, went towards something. And they may have realized, because this always shows me like a fork in the road or a decision someone made. And this is the past where they made a decision to go in a different direction. And now they're returning humbly with a bouquet of flowers to apologize. And so maybe how they feel about you with the environment, that's showing this is someone that's... Um, you know, definitely someone you're familiar with. As I was mentioning, like a past life love, maybe even someone from your past, but they feel like they've watched you grow, evolve. Um, they've watched you transform. They've watched you heal. And so they do want to come back and, um, you know, extend uh, what may be an apology uh, because this is someone that has realized their love for you. This could be someone, as I said, that could be like your twin flame, a soulmate, cosmic companion, um, they may feel that about you. We have um, Toby yet again, and this is called I'm Dope. So they do notice just how fly you are. They want to match your fly. Um, they realize you're different. You're rare. Uh, as I said, you may feel like an earth angel. Uh, you're, you're very, like, you're very, they, they feel this magnetic pull. They feel drawn. They feel this synergy chemistry even um and they are drawn to you like they're all this green here with the four four environment and then the four perseverance is like you have healed and your heart chakra is like wide open and so this person just feels drawn to come to you they feel that you ground them they feel this healing and loving and nurturing vibration which just pulls them to you so this is powerful and they feel you're dope like they feel you're just dope down to earth different rare um it's like they're not going to bump into another you in this lifetime so why is this 444 environment so this is your messages let me get card see so see i can't make this up don't play with me so look what we have here we got the ten of wands so how they feel about you is you've recently like unburdened yourself that's what that personal growth is learning that you don't have to carry the burdens of the world on your shoulders solely learning that relationships are reciprocal um no longer feeling in you know uh, like you got to appease to please or overcompensate. Um, you've learned valuable lessons and they've made you stronger. If you look at his arm, it's like this cop diesel. Look how strong you had to be. Um, but this is also showing like you're no longer, um, you're no longer burdened. You've re recently relieved yourself of those burdens. And that's why this perseverance and personal growth is here. And this is someone that has been watching you because this environment card, just shows that this is someone um, that you are familiar with, maybe someone you've worked with, uh, maybe someone you live around, maybe someone that is at, you know, a local grocery store that you frequent or on a nature walk that you walk 
on a nature trail, whatever. But remember what I said, Eight of Pentacles, this is how they see you as someone that has been really focused. Um, that energy is diligence. You see how intense, you know, how focused, how disciplined. That's you, you have your eyes on the prize and you got the eye of the tiger and whatever you're working on, it's like it's guaranteed to to flourish. It's guaranteed to blossom. Uh, it's guaranteed to succeed because of the time and the energy that you are putting into this. This is also making someone want to come in and cultivate and nurture and build a partnership and alliance with you, which is what I was getting with this three, which gives me like the three of pentacles with this 48 financial discipline. That's someone that brings another level. Maybe they are someone who's financially um, savvy. And so they may have ideas on how you can grow your brand or how you can open up multiple streams of income. This is a beautiful energy of an offering. This is receiving something tangible. This is a blessing. This is new money. This is a loan. This is a new apartment. This is a new vehicle. This is unexpected wealth. This is sudden wealth. This is fortune. This is fame with this ace of pentacles. It's like you've turned this thought, you know, into a reality have worked hard, diligently. You're seen as very single, independent, self-sufficient. Your independence has absolutely assured that you will be successful. What did I say about the hangman? This is what's hidden in the energy. You got the 32 and that 48. So someone is quietly, privately watching you. And you see how his crown chakra is illuminated. So they learn something you know, new, maybe about you, maybe about the situation. They have some sort of grand epiphany. They have some sort of divine download intervention. Spirit places you in this position to see things clearly, to see things from a different perspective, to have that moment of clarity as this person is clearly having here. So this is someone who could have been stuck in their ways. Maybe that person that was proud. Remember, we had that 19 pride card showed up. So that could have been that person, very stubborn, very, you know, hard headed. And now it's like, you know, this situation is becoming even more clearer to someone that they want to work together, build together. Um, this is someone that wants to be supportive because that 32 and that, um, that uh, what is that? 32, five and this 48, 12, that's three reduces to eight. So that's the same energy of what? The Eight of Pentacles, which is what I was getting already from the 44 environment. So this is someone that feels this connection is very grounding. They feel like they can collaborate. They feel like there could be some sort of, um, you know, legacy that the two of you can build uh, a business and it can be successful. But they're seeing things completely different. So that's powerful. So why is the 32 music, 48 financial discipline for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And so what we have here, uh, and we have the queen of wands. And then this black cat immediately showed up for me. So with this queen of wands, you know, the, the, the cats are impervious to threat. Um, and remember, we saw intuition and, you know, that's when we was pulling up the card for what's hidden. And so spirit kept saying intuition. Then I was seeing the number six, the first die. So spirit is just reminding you before you take action. Like I said, make sure to assess because this queen of wands is a very attractive energy. Um, she's a go getter. She gets what she wants all the time because she's attractive and because uh, she's relentless, action oriented. So we have Loaded Lux Funk Flex, and this is called, um, so with Loaded Lux, and it says Soul Messiah. So with this Loaded Lux, I feel like this is someone, she's like a, a loaded gun. So she's very um, quick to react, quick to respond, but she does get things done. With this, this uh, black cat here, some of you may own a black cat. Maybe you're bumping into black cats. With that eight, I feel like that could be maybe one of the signs or synchronicities. Um, that you may have, an encounter you may have that could be a message from the divine. Um, maybe there's a certain song that has a cat um, reference. Maybe someone's name could be like Catherine. Um, 
Katina, uh, Katara. My cat's name is Katara. Whatever the case may be, it's like um, follow your intuition. Trust your intuition because this is what's hidden. And with that eight, you know, maybe it's saying that, um, you know, there's something rushing in and coming in. And you may feel like you have to make a quick decision, but spirit is telling you, trust your intuition, trust what you're feeling in that moment. Cause you know, the cats I always just feel are uh, very intuitive animal totems, you know, animals, but they're also impervious to threat because of their intuition. So, you know, whatever could be hidden um, that is trying to work against you, uh, spirit is saying you will intuitively pick up on it because you will feel it in your energy. You know, that's where you'll feel it in your gut, you know, your gumption, that gumption will let you know. But let's tap it. I want to get one more message and there goes the judgment card. So there is some sort of wake up call. Maybe that's just speaking to, you know, you having that wake up call that, you know, forgiveness is for you. You can see that these people have recently come out of these, like, it looks like coffins to me, but they are boxes. And I feel like those boxes could just be, you know, very symbolic of the boxes you were trying to fit in, in society that I was picking up. And you see how dark and black they are. So, you know, fitting into other people's boxes only keeps you um, in the dark. It only keeps you um, trapped, you know, in an illusion of what, you know, in an illusion of inclusion, in an illusion of uh, success, you know, so when you free yourself, free your mind, free your body, free your spirit, um, this brings you in that equilibrium. You can see what appears to be like a cross and the cross represents, uh, you know, the fem the feminine and masculine en energy. So that's like yin and yang also, um, similar, similar to what the Ankh would represent. So it's the symbol you know, of life, of masculine and feminine energy. So this is showing um, you've had an you've had an epiphany or uh, some sort of wake up call. Um, you know, to come out of, you know, to get out of these boxes. You know, to live your your life uh, as a free spirit. Um, you know, and and there's an awakening that's happening even to an entire family, to a group, as you can see, all these people. So this could just speak to, you know, as I said, some of you could be chosen. You could be, you know, acting as a guide for your own children, your own family, maybe um, being a leader, being a healer. This angel, you know, with this judgment, that also uh, deals with karma, it deals with, you know, having those wake up calls, you know, um, and, and something coming full circle. But this judgment call, uh, you could be making that judgment call, like I said, to forgive, you know, to forgive, to let go and let God, you know, to not hold on to anything that's keeping you bound or stuck, um, you know, because you've learned that whatever isn't growing is dead. So very powerful energy. So why is this? Okay. Thank you, spirit. So we got some messages that flew out. So what we have here is again, temperance, which to me is like, you know, that energy of patience. You know, patience, young grasshopper, uh, taking the time to pour into oneself. This angel is showing you how to heal thyself so that you can love thyself. So it's like those two chalices um, really represent, you know, learning to pour into you first and foremost. You have to love you before you can extend love to anyone else. So when you heal thyself and you pour into you, then you learn how to love others. And you can see, you know, it's a very similar energy where, you know, one foot is in the waters and the other is on earth like the star. So that's that healing energy. And this is showing who helped you heal, who helped you to get into uh, that emotional, spiritual and, um, you know, uh, balance, equilibrium coming into alignment. You know, your angels, your guides. You know, temperance is about also um, learning to control your own emotions, uh, not being reactionary, but, you know, being proactive, not falling into the trap of becoming overly emotional or uh, doing things from an ego standpoint. So that's powerful. Temperance heals. Temperance, temperance allows you to be taught you know, how to balance those things. So that's beautiful. So with forgiveness, we have the uh, three of wands flew, flew back out. So that's about strategy, 
uh, that's also about assessing. You can see he's like assessing and expecting. And this is almost a sense of manifesting because you could tell that there's there was some intention set and sent out because he's here waiting or uh, I should say anticipating something. And you can see the ships are docking. So whatever intention you've sent out, it's like you've manifested it and it's coming. And so maybe the act of forgiveness has allowed for your blessings to start pouring in coming in the next energy you have see that so this is the energy this is what you are forgiving being left out in the cold feeling abandoned feeling rejected um feeling like you don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of feeling like that spirit of lack that spirit of poverty uh feeling at times like you didn't have enough to survive and you had to just figure out a way to work through it come out of a dark period of you know poverty um of perhaps you know not having you know any income coming in this is what you've had to forgive maybe someone abandoned you left you out in the cold left you in the dark uh as i said rejected you unrequited love uh, now there's this sense of like you you've learned from this situation you know you've learned how to um heal thyself because this was not only was it painful but it was also it was like lesson learned you know and so you could be just looking back looking out and realizing like the work that you've put into um into healing you're expecting you know things to turn around in your favor you're expecting some of those wishes to be fulfilled some of those prayers that you've sent up to be answered and absolutely they do someone has regrets see this five of cups is like someone remember when i was picking up with the the uh six of cups that we saw where there was someone kind of like going off and making a decision and then returning very apologetic well this is that person that you know took that other route chose to go in a different direction only to discover that they weren't satisfied you know that whatever that situation was it didn't hit the same as it may have with you because you were seen as dope there goes that word glow again we got rick james now glow so remember i was picking up the word glow and that word showed up in the former reading the group change had you know um the glow of love i even went into a diatribe about the movie last dragon because you got that glow so this person now sees you glowing sees you shining sees you in the spotlight sees you as a wish fulfillment sees you as someone that they may feel they have some sort of uh harmony chemistry this is that person that wants to return wants to apologize because even with the 96 i'm getting the six of cups you know with that and this is the five of cups so they have regrets they want to apologize because i was getting you know someone wants to say something and speak to you because remember we had um the uh high five group and with the five i was getting the throat shock or someone wants to express something and this is clearly someone that has regrets remember we saw the nine of swords i was also picking up regrets ruminating overthinking and they're overthinking and ruminating because of you know these three cups that are spilled over it's like there could have been some sort of entanglements third parties uh this is someone that definitely um burnt some sort of bridge with you uh maybe they just were very uh impulsive in their decision making this person is 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 carrying a very heavy burden um and it's because they see you as you know having some victorious outcome um this is victories breakthroughs success uh you got a lot of people watching you um whatever you're doing and a lot of people celebrate you while others you know are mean mugging evil eyeing uh because if you look in this crowd this person always stands out to me right here and they're not smiling they're not waving with you know happiness and joy they look like they're evil eyeing you and mugging you and talking crap behind your back so um just know that be aware of that and protect your your energy protect your peace maintain those boundaries but you are clearly having some sort of victorious outcome uh and this is another reason why um someone is having heavy regrets uh maybe because this is someone like i said that you know rejected you could have been unrequited they didn't see your value until it was too late and and that in return kind of helped you to blossom into this powerful you know person that you are today so it was you know, like the gift and the curse 
So let's tap in. Let's see what else you have. We're going to pull some messages from my deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. So look what we have in the bottom of the deck. It says they're tuning into your channel, social media, driving by your home, looking at old pics. It says secret admirer, obsessed, stalker alert. So I was just saying that you had a couple of people watching you. You had some folks celebrating you whilst you have others that are planning, plotting, scheming, scamming, and sending hate and jealousy your way. So you are in the spotlight. It's clear with the six of wands. You're having some sort of victory. The roads have opened up. The doors of opportunity have opened up for you. Um, the door to value has opened up. As I said, sudden wealth, some sort of reward, recognition, blessing, answer to your prayer, miracle. Um, there's some wish fulfillment. And there are others that are watching, you know, in, 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 in mesmer, you know, mesmerized in astonishment. They're watching, but there's others watching um, with some sort of disdain, jealousy and envy. So just be mindful. That's another reason why you have this black cat here um, just kind of watching. You see that she's looking straight ahead. So this is about uh, things that could possibly be um, hidden in plain sight. Trusting your intuition, trusting your gumption. Um, and we have uh, Slum Village, and this is called Tell Me, feature, featuring D'Angelo. So someone could be from like Detroit or maybe Virginia. But I do feel like, you know, trust what your spirit tells you. Trust what your intuition is telling you. Because we had Tell Me. Somebody's name could be D'Angelo or um, have a D in it. So let's tap in. So why is this 66 healing? Uh, clarified by the Queen of Cups for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios, or my beautiful spirit. And so what we have here, it says, empath problems, it's too people-y outside. <laughs> so this is definitely an empath problem because, you know, as we all know, energy is transferable. And you may find that you pick up on other people's energy. Um, you could be picking up even, you know, on... Um, some of the hate that's coming and circling around. But that's another reason why, you know, this healing is here as well. You have to ground your energy. You have to purge, you know, you have to purge whenever you have those encounters with other people. Because you're an empath, you do have that ability to uh, kind of like absorb other people's problems. That could be the reason why I was sensing some of you all were like the go-to person. Um, you're the one that others may come to for advice or come to to get some sort of inspiration or words of encouragement. Um, be sure, be mindful um, to, to clean, clear, cleanse, to ground yourself, to purge, to release. Uh, because, you know, as this water sign, you're naturally someone who's very giving, very loving, very caring, um, very protective of the people that you love. And, you know, oftentimes uh, the plight of, you know, a Cancer or a, a Scorpio or a Pisces or a water sign, period, um, is there is the fact that you uh, start to become, as I said, other people's like punching bag or dumping grounds, you know, so you have to establish boundaries um, and you have to be sure to uh, not carry uh, around that energy, you know, carry around the problems other people may bring to you. So with that, it's too people-y, make sure to smudge, take spiritual baths, make sure to cleanse your homes, uh, don't wear your shoes in the house, um, make sure when you do come in from a, you know, having some sort of experience outside that you do, you know, hop into the shower and take a spiritual bath or smudge yourself right quick. Uh, if you have like, you know, a, um, you know, like a, a, a spray, you know, like a cleanse, just, you know, cleanse the crown of your chakra. But um, I do feel that's a part of your recovery as well is um, you may be those connections that you were a part of, that those relationships met its demise. Um, you really loved those individuals and it felt like a death um, having to recover from whatever you feel now has been lost. So with, you know, Slum Village, tell me, I do feel like you, your angels have led to um, you now, you know, having this this energy of forgiveness, um, this energy to see things in a different light. Um, but also, you know, uh, telling you to, you know, you have to re rejuvenate your spirit or recharge your own batteries. So what we have is the four walls are closing in on you. Get out of the house now. Uh, take a walk.
So this is what's um, for the energy that you are attracting to you or who you're attracting to you. That's the energy on the bottom of the deck is someone could possibly be like a recluse or someone could be in isolation or in like a cocooning state. Uh, maybe this is someone, as I said, you know, really just focus on self being selfish, loving themselves. That nine of cups is just showing someone really uh, putting them first. Uh, this could be someone who has already kind of like um, put everyone and everything on time out. So there is no um, interaction with the outside world. This is all uh, someone working, you know, internally, working on themselves, um, improving, learning, studying, growing, um, and really focusing on themselves. But at the same time, Spirit is saying that um, there's a need to balance uh, one's energy and getting out of the home could give someone the clarity. That could be why we saw that nine of swords. So someone is just kind of like the four walls are closing in means someone has just been in the house entirely too long and there's a feeling of discontent or some sort of mental conflict, uh, anxiety. Um, we have Nas and this is called back when. So someone could really be in that energy of nostalgia, looking back, uh, this is giving me like this energy here, the five of cups, because that's what someone is doing. His body is literally turned towards towards the past, uh, but he's mourning the past. He's not looking um, in awareness. It's almost like, you know, there's regrets, there's remorse, there's these feelings of coulda, shoulda, woulda. Uh, but spirit is saying in order to see things clearly or to even have some sort of new perspective, fresh perspective, uh, get out of the house um, and, and get out of your head. You know, so let's tap in. So why is this 10 of uh, karmic cycles or karmic completions and the nine of cups here for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. So we have two um, messages. The first is jealousy is a sickness. It says hater alert, stalker alert. So that's the second time you had a hater or a stalker alert show up. Last time we saw they're tuning into your channel. What's on the bottom of the deck, it says don't be complacent. I just literally said that. Um, don't be complacent. Get out and get what you want slash desire. So this is this person. Somebody could be looking at another person saying, dang, they seem to have everything they want. You know, and, and it's, it's, it's a form of jealousy and envy. Um, and remember, you know, the six of wands, I was picking up on the energy, like, you know, these people that's just watching with disdain, jealousy, hate, you know, hating what they can't duplicate. So some of these people are folks that you have cut off, obviously, with this karmic completion, you've severed the ties, you're no longer communicating with these people. And that's the reason why you are seen as someone just being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. The body language on this Nine of Cups shows um, that you're very protective of your heart. You're very protective of who you give your heart to because that's something that you've learned. And so whoever these individuals are, are very jealous uh, because you are not um, giving of yourself as you may have been in the past. So they could be watching you because remember we saw the page of swords and I was getting a sense of being watched um, from afar, someone investigating or researching or doing some sort of uh, background uh, check. We also have protected from secret enemies. So the same people that are jealous, because remember this is the energy of who or what you're attracting to you. So remember I was getting with the 444 that came out that you were protected. So even you're protected from your secret enemies. So these can be people that may be in your surroundings, people that you may have called friend, family, uh, colleague, neighbor. Um, this is showing that some of those individuals were people you had to sever ties with. These were people that were um, projecting, you know, their insecurities uh, of themselves uh, onto you because jealousy and envy, it says it's a sickness because it's something that you can actually control. Um, you should never look external to yourself and compare you with someone else because there's no, there's no other you. So whatever you are experiencing that you feel um, is lack, that you are not uh, getting your just due, it's like the way that you can get your just due is by continuing to 
master that craft, to work on it, to to you know stay in that very diligent energy, as we see here with the Eight of Pentacles. So someone's jealousy and envy um, is due in part to their own laziness. So they're jealous because here you are minding yours and mastering yours at the same time while someone watches at a distance um, with this hatred. And that's why you're protected because you're not minding anyone else's business but your own. So you're protected from these secret enemies that are watching you with this disdain, uh, seething at what appears to be success and abundance, but it's not because you're sitting on your ass minding other people's business gossiping. It's because you've been busting your ass and busting your gun and getting the job done. So perhaps they need to take a page from you and your work ethic and your drive and your determination opposed to sitting here being, you know, jealous, you know, a hating ass Harry, you know, a lying ass Larry. So it says, don't be complacent, go out and get what you want. That's turning pain into power. You could have easily sat there, molt, whined, lo woe is me, self-loathe after getting stabbed in the back and getting left out in the cold and, you know, being betrayed and rejected. You could have easily took the easy route out, which is victim, you know, but instead, this is what you did. You wasn't going to be complacent. You said, I'm going to do what I need to do to change my situation. I'm going to channel this energy in a positive way. That's why you're getting results. That's why the ancestors, your guide spirit is giving you ace of pentacles, providing you protection from enemies, assuring you that you're going to have victories and outcomes that are very triumphant. So let's tap in. So why is this 44 environment, personal growth, perseverance, that 10 of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the, not, the ace of pentacles here for how this person or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. And it says, every evil eye that's watching you shall go blind, impenetrable wall of protection. So that is yet another message of you being protected, how someone feels about you. We have um, knowing is half the battle. Now you must apply. So whatever you've learned, they see you applying what you've learned. And that's why they see you as a leader. That's why they see you as having some sort of victory. Because it's like whatever you've been mastering, whatever craft, it's like now you've aligned to that purpose. And we have done, done, Finn. So you have definitely completed a karmic cycle. How they feel about you is you have successfully wrapped up a cycle, powerfully wrapped up a cycle, took your power back. Not only have you learned lessons, like I said, every great healer has to first heal themselves. But not only have you learned the lessons, you're now applying whatever you've learned and you're helping others. So you have wrapped up a cycle. Those evil eyes watching, tuning in, tapping in to what you're doing, you're definitely protected by them. Even if you have people watching, you know, what you're doing and with the intention to steal your ideas, with the intention to, um, you know, kind of like... Uh, to, to, to uh, you know, kind of throw dirt on your name. It's like you're protected from that as well. Because I just get like secret competition also here. Like people watching and studying you as well. With this 32 music along with the 48 financial discipline. And then you have this queen of wands. You know, so it's like, you know, they're, they're like all eyes are on you for something. This is what's hidden. And that's why I was getting with that black cat uh, impervious to threat. And when you're impervious to threat, it's like you already, you know, you already know to have that protective bubble. And with the protection from, you know, your secret enemies and the every evil eye watching go blind, that obviously along with the 444 here. And I was saying you had angels watching over you because you had a calling on your life or you have some divine purpose or skill or gift. That's confirmation. So whoever these haters are, whoever is, you know, secretly plotting, um, you are protected. You're protected. So why is this 32? Dang, son. So it says the four walls are closing in on you. That's still on the bottom of the deck. So someone is really in the dark. They're really stuck in the dark, maybe stuck in a place of depression or just confused, conflicted mentally. So it says guilty conscious. I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep, baby, without you in my life. So whoever this is, someone has a very guilty conscience. That's what I see here with this person with their head hanging low. 
you know, like I said, regrets, remorse, maybe even a little bit of shame. You know, someone is definitely, you know, perhaps, um, you know, with this riddled with regret and remorse, you know, because that's what a guilty conscience is, like resting on, you know, a guilty conscience is like you literally cannot rest. You can't go to, to rest. You can't get a good night's rest. You're waking up in cold sweats. You're anxious. You're overthinking. You're over, you know, just overthinking, overly um, stressing a situation. And it's because someone knows they did someone dirty. They did someone wrong or they didn't see something for what it truly was. They didn't see the value in something. This eight that this breaks down to, uh, I'm sorry, this doesn't, yeah, this does actually, the 32, 5, 48, 12, that's three. That is given like the eight of swords to me. You know, so maybe someone has a guilty conscience over, you know, this queen of wands, because now they're seeing that queen of wands, like, you know, manifest and change in their life. So what else you have is be healthy. Health is wellness. And next we have, four page letter these are my thoughts should i send it text delete text delete so that's someone riddled with remorse and regret wanting to express something communicate something but feeling like a little challenged you know because i was getting intimidation but when you're writing a four page letter it's almost like a confessional it's almost like someone has something they want to get off their chest or they want to you know they want to like um they want to rectify a situation or clear the air so to speak because someone definitely feels guilty with be healthy. I feel like this is a testament to uh, someone needing to heal from, you know, maybe, um, you know, kind of like judging themselves even. Because remember, the compassion showed up and that was double nines. And double numbers always gives me the energy of you and whoever you're attracting to you, matching and mirroring one another's energy. So this is obvious, not only a lesson you've had to learn and endure, but one that whomever you're attracting to you. So be healthy is not just what you're ingesting, eating, um, but it's also uh, the way that you treat yourself. So if you're constantly uh, beating yourself up, feeling guilty, constantly speaking to yourself in, you know, in a lack mentality or have a woe is me low vibrational energy that that too is a factor on one's health so that could be also just that reminder that you know that little download of by spirit you know saying heal thyself because the eight is given the star the star knows that you have to heal thyself you have to heal thyself so that you can learn to love thyself so that's powerful so someone is stuck in the house this is the second time this message showed up with the four walls are closing in so that's definitely someone who's just like you know, as I said, I keep hearing the word recluse, but I'm also hearing someone who's very, like, you know, anxious, someone who's very, like, discontent. So as 96 forgiveness, uh, five of pentacles, three of wands, thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, it says too much of anything can be bad for you. Moderation. So I feel this is a major, um, definitely speaking to one's thoughts. So speaking, like... Think up in your head too much can be too much. Um, we have hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. So someone's definitely uh, mastering their craft here. I do see that. That's why there's victories uh, because someone does turn their pain into power. Um, so this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. I'm going to end it there. Uh, I will that this message resonated for you. If you found that it did, please like, share, subscribe. Um, definitely check out my Etsy shop. Definitely check out my consultations and book today. I do have some openings, but thank you so much for tuning and tapping in until next time. Send a big fat Asheo. Peace.